You want to know something that's been really amusing me about Stevie O and the videos I've made about him? It used to be when I made a video about Stevie O, that video would get two to three times more views than videos not about him. Because, like, he was pretty popular, you know? Like, you could clout chase using Stevie O's name if you really wanted to. Granted, I'm not sure death threats and relentless harassment is considered clout, but whatever, you could get a lot of views from using Stevio's name is the point. Now, I make a video about him, it gets less views than my other videos. Like, sometimes like thousands of less views than my other videos. And that honestly makes my little disabled chronically ill heart very, very happy. That people are kind of realizing who this dude is and not caring about him anymore. It's almost become like people just seeing a video about him being like, yeah, he's an asshole, we know. We don't care anymore. That's not to say his content isn't still hurting people because he still has a lot of followers. But people are... I think almost following him in the way they sometimes follow people like Donald Trump and Andrew Tate. It's not because they actually find him funny or agree with what he's saying. They just want to see what outrageous bullshit he's going to produce next. And I just think it's so funny that this man went from people thinking he was an actual doctor and defending him as being an actual doctor to the point they actually harassed and threatened people for him to just being like, meh. We don't care. We're done. We're done with him. And that right there is honestly all I wanted when I make videos about Stevie O. I just want people to know that he is not a doctor and he is not someone you should be taking seriously. And I guess I accomplished that mission 